a Christian privilege bulletin board was set up at Appalachian State with the expressed purpose of shaming Christian college students in college. Caitlin Shalhorn of Campus Reform has this story. Caitlin, thank you for joining me. What is a privilege board? Well, this RA, this resident advisor at Appalachian State University in North Carolina has put up this board in a residence hall where, where students live that shames Christians based inherently on their faith. It says that they, because of their faith, apparently Christian students have more privilege than other students on campus. And you know, no other religion has an entire bulletin board that's dedicated to them and dedicated to belittling their faith on, on App State's campus. I've never, I've never heard anything like that. I, I would imagine. So, what are they? Are they being equal opportunity uh, offenders here? Are they going to put up a Jewish privilege or a Muslim privilege board or an atheist privilege board? This is insane. Uh, and and some of the messages that they have on there. Do they? Is that, and is that the only one? The Christian faith. Yeah, as, as far as faiths go, this is the only bulletin board that shames just just the wow. faith. It's the only bulletin board that shames just, you know, Christian's faith. There's another bulletin board that the Leadership Institute's campus reform previously reported on that was put up in another residence hall that shames um, any kind of students with privilege. This one dealt with male privilege, heterosexual privilege, able-bodied privilege, and again, Christian privileged. And these bulletin boards have, have memes and they're very belittling and offensive to students. You know, students are coming home to their dorm right. after taking an exam. They hope to relax. They hope to do some studying. And instead, they're coming back and they're seeing seeing these bulletin boards that are shaming them based on their race or things that they might not be able to change about themselves. Right. And these RAs are supposed to be mentors and they're putting up these bulletin boards just to push their own agenda instead of mentoring their students. That's horrible. And I can imagine that it doesn't go to create much of a welcoming feeling on campus either. What what are some of the things, Kristen, that they're saying? What do they identify as, as Christian privilege? Well, some of the things that they're saying are Christian privilege are, you know, Christian, the Christian faith is taught in public high schools in, in literature classes, supposedly. Um, Christians are never marginalized or, or criticized or made fun of because of their beliefs. And, you know, look at what's going on in Indiana right now. That's absolutely untrue. But it's no wonder that bulletin boards like these are popping up on campuses. Whenever you've got college administrators, like at San Francisco State University or um, at, at UConn, who are publicly criticizing Indiana's religious you know, religious freedom mm -hmm. law. They are publicly calling for boycotts of the state. Um, it's just no wonder that this is happening on, on college campuses. They don't create any kind of diversity of thought whatsoever. They don't definitely don't promote diversity among religions or, or the face of students. They only marginalize these students and make them feel very uncomfortable.